Let's look at the concept of blood pressure. Let's start by examining where the pressure in blood pressure comes from. Each time the heart beats, blood gets pushed out of the heart and into the arteries. The blood is like the freight train of the body and carries essential nutrients and oxygen to all of the cells. So it has to be pushed out of the left ventricle of the heart with enough force behind it for these nutrients to reach every single cell of the body. This force also has to keep the blood moving at a certain speed throughout the body because if it moves too slowly or pools, it's in danger of clotting. Blood leaves the left ventricle under relatively high pressure of about 100 to 140 millimeters of mercury. How much pressure is that? It's about as much pressure as it takes to squeeze a tennis ball quite hard in your hand. Try doing this one time a second and you'll soon get an idea of how hard the muscles of your heart are working. With each beat, the blood that gets pushed out into the arteries presses against the walls of these arteries. And this is the pressure that's measured when your blood pressure is checked. Now these walls are normally quite elastic and flexible and allow the blood to flow with little resistance. However, if these arteries become stiff and narrowed by plaque or other fatty substances, they become diseased and the heart has to work harder with every beat to get enough blood through these narrowed diseased vessels. This increased workload on the heart results in an increase in the pressure on these arterial walls and therefore an increase in the blood pressure. Imagine water running through this hose is the blood running through your artery. A blockage in the hose means the faucet has to be turned up to get the same amount of water to flow through it. It's just like your heart having to work harder to get the blood through the blocked artery. So, when your blood pressure is measured, it's essentially an indicator of how hard your heart has to work to pump enough blood with every beat. Because high blood pressure has no symptoms, many people do not know they have it. This is why high blood pressure is often called the silent killer. The only way to tell if you have high blood pressure is to have your blood pressure checked regularly. So remember, the higher your blood pressure, the harder your heart has to work with each beat.